Hello, I'm Dr. Christopher Jacobs, PhD in Biomedical Engineering and Chief Research Engineer in the development of Genteel. On pages 10 through 13 of your instruction book, there is a section called Determining the Right Contact Tip for Each Usage. Now this video is meant to be used in conjunction with your instruction book to give you a full understanding of how to select the right contact tip for each usage so you will feel no pain. Whether you're testing from fingertips or alternate sites, one of the secrets to Genteel's painless lancing lies in selecting the right contact tip for your body. For most of us, our capillary blood supply is slightly closer to the surface of the skin than are our pain nerves, so regardless of which body site you choose, the purpose of the contact tip is to control with extreme precision how deeply the lancet penetrates. Each of our bodies is different, so selecting the right contact tip for your body will ensure that no matter how thick or thin your skin or blood, your lancet will just reach your capillary blood supply, but not your pain nerves. Throughout your body, this capillary depth is pretty uniform all over, except on your fingertips where the capillaries and pain nerves are much closer to the surface. To accommodate this person-to-person -person variation, inside your Genteel box you'll find a card holding five contact tips from the least to the most penetrating. They are yellow, green, clear, orange, and violet, plus a sixth blue factory installed contact tip which goes on the end of one of Genteel's two nozzles. We've chosen this one to start because it's the shallowest and most gentle. Now, the purpose of the nozzles is to hold these contact tips in place and conduct vacuum from Genteel's instrument to your skin. There is a skin side and a nozzle side to each contact tip. The nozzle side of the contact tip has an indent which wraps around the little flange on the end of the nozzle. Each is designed to attach snugly to the end of your nozzle. Along with differences in color, each contact tip has a different thickness because the purpose of the contact tip is to get in the way of the lancet going into your skin. The thinner the contact tip, the deeper the lancing. For alternate sites, such as your shoulder, thigh, or stomach, where your skin tends to be thicker and capillaries deeper below the surface, you want the lancet to reach those capillaries, so a thinner contact tip would probably work best. Conversely, the thicker the contact tip, the shallower the lancing, probably ideal for fingertips where your blood supply is nearer the surface of the skin. Select the body site from where you want to test. For this video, we're going to test on the forearm, but you can choose any convenient body site, such as your leg, shoulder, or stomach. Ensure Genteel is primed by pushing in the push cap, making sure not to be holding the activation button while you're priming. You should hear a clicking noise telling you that the mechanism is now locked in place and there should be hardly any space between the push cap and the top of the plunger assembly. Remove the contact tip assembly from Genteel by twisting it counterclockwise and then pulling gently. With Genteel primed, insert a new sterile lancet into the shuttle by pushing in the lancet until it bottoms out. Reinstall the nozzle contact tip assembly into Genteel by lining up the body pins to the nozzle slots, then pushing the nozzle on and rotating it clockwise. Ensure the nozzle is locked in place before usage. Place the nozzle contact tip assembly gently and flatly against your forearm at a 90 degree angle from the flat area of your skin. You don't have to push Genteel hard. The gentlest pressure that still holds a vacuum works best. Press the activation button hard enough until Genteel activates and then continue to hold it down until you see enough blood which usually takes less than 8 seconds. This instantly and automatically starts both the lancing and vacuum generating process. It's very important you hold your finger tightly over the hole in the center of the activation button. If you lift your finger off this hole, the blood drawing vacuum will be lost and you may have to start the process over. If you see the right amount of blood with the blue contact tip, 
which usually takes two to eight seconds. Remember to lift your finger off the activation button before pulling Gentile from your skin. But this means the blue will now be your contact tip of choice for alternate sites. However, if your blood draw is too slow, insufficient for sampling, or even you get no blood at all, simply peel off the blue contact tip from the nozzle, install the next fastest, which is the yellow contact tip, and test again. If your blood draw is still insufficient, move on to the next faster nozzle, which would be the green nozzle, and try again. Your goal is to find that optimum contact tip for that site that draws the right amount of blood with the shallowest, most gentle tip and no pain. The higher the number contact tip, the faster the blood draw, but the more likely to cause some discomfort. Once you've determined the optimal nozzle contact tip assembly, you'll be using it for all future alternate site testing. While some people are lucky enough to use the same contact tip for both alternate sites and fingertips, for most of us the optimal contact tip will be different between our fingers and alternate sites due to the variations in how deep the capillaries are from the skin surface. So to ensure you have the optimum tip for fingertips, you want to repeat the same testing procedure as you did for alternate sites. Remember, with Gentile, you no longer have to test on the delicate pads of your fingers. You can now test on the less sensitive sides of your fingers. Start your testing using the second nozzle provided for fingertips. And just as you did for alternate sites, work your way through each contact tip from the thickest blue to the thinnest violet until you find your optimum contact tip for fingers. You now have two contact tip nozzle assemblies. One is optimum for alternate sight and one is optimum for fingertips. You will use these contact tip assemblies from now on. That's all there is to it. Congratulations. You are now set up for painless blood draw. Thank you.